Who says you need money to get traffic to your website? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to break down the most effective ways to market your business with no budget. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. I'm gonna break down some of the easiest ways to get traffic when you have no money. The first strategy, SEO. What I want you to do is just start off by writing content and sharing it on the social web. If you don't know what content to write, what I want you to do is go to Ubersuggest, type in any keywords related to your industry, click on the content ideas report in the left-hand navigation, and it'll show you all the articles that are popular based on social shares, and it'll show you based on backlinks. Once you write your content, because this is, you know, you're basing it on other popular pieces of content, that'll give you idea. And then what I want you to do once yours is out, hit up all the people that share the other articles or link to it, Ubersuggest provides a lot of this data, reach out to them and ask them to share your content. For example, if my competitor has an article, let's say Moz and Beginner's Guide to SEO, I'll take that URL, put it into search.twitter or Twitter search bar, it'll show me all the people that have shared it, I'll hit them all up, ask them to share my content. Second strategy, Google My Business. It's one of the easiest ways for local businesses to get more traffic and higher ranking. So make sure you submit yourself to Google My Business. Another strategy that I love is PR. And you're probably wondering, hey Neil, I don't have the budgets to go hire a big PR firm. How do I get all this free PR? Well, the way you get this free PR is a site called Haro, help a reporter out. What Haro does is it's a community of reporters that are saying, hey, I have questions around all these topics. Is there anyone who can help me answer them? And if you answer them, what it'll do is they'll be like, oh, thank you. And they'll include you in the article and that gets you publicity, which can get you traffic and sales. Another strategy that I love is public speaking. Even though it doesn't drive that many sales, you're building a relationship with other people. And if I'm giving a speech in front of the audience, those people are super qualified. When I tell them about my website, they go to it and it can generate some sales and the conversion rate tends to be higher. Even if it's a select small group, it's still worth doing it because you're building a better emotional connection with those people. Another strategy that I love is guest posting and cold outreach. What I mean by this is if you can go and guest post on popular sites that have your audience already, you can generate sales. For example, in the marketing space, there's blogs like Moz, there's blogs like Search Engine Journal, Search Engine Land, they all take guest posting. So if I reach out to them and I try to get guests posted on their site and do outreach, I can generate more brand awareness and leads from that as well. And when you're doing guest posting, don't do it for links to try to boost your search engine ranking. Do it for the referral traffic. Go after the right exact audience. Another strategy that I love is Facebook groups. There's so many groups. There's groups on literally everything. So I want you to participate. If you're selling you know, pet related products, go to the pet related groups, participate, answer people's questions if their dogs are overweight or underweight or what they can do to make their dogs happier. And then whenever you have a product or service that's related, then you can mention it, but make sure you're participating first and giving more than asking. Next, I want you to leverage email marketing. There's a saying that goes in the marketing industry, the money's in the list. It's your digital ATM machine. So collect emails. Educate 80% of the time when you're sending out emails and promote and sell your products 10 to 20% of the time. I usually like following the 80-20 rule where I educate 80%, sell 20%. I myself probably educate 90-95%, sell no more than 5 to 10%. And when you're collecting emails, you can do this by coupons, discounts, let's say if you're e-commerce or if you're service-based, maybe webinars or guides. The possibilities are endless. You can use tools like HelloBar to do that. Another strategy, video marketing. Anytime you create video, upload it to YouTube, Instagram TV, Instagram Reels, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, TikTok, Twitter, the possibilities are endless. Because you already have followers and friends on all these social sites, uploading content, video content, just does well. Another strategy is going live. If you go live on all these social platforms, Ty Lopez used to do this a lot. These social networks are competing with live television. So if you go live, what you'll find is people, these social networks will be like, hey, we want people to be on our platforms instead of tuning into CNN or CNBC or ABC. 
So what we want to do is just spread it, even if they don't have tons of followers. So make sure you go live, and when you go live, tell people about your website. Then you have influencers. You can use tools like influence.co and find influencers to create affiliate deals with. And you can work out deals with them saying, hey, if you promote my product and drive sales, I'll pay you. If not, I don't pay you anything. Then you have infographics. If you go back to the content ideas report within Ubersys, so you can go to ubersys.com and then put in a keyword related to your industry. You go to the content ideas report in the left-hand navigation. You'll see a list of all the popular articles within your industry. You can then go create infographics based on some of those topics, and you can use tools like Canva to help you create those for free, and then reach out to all the people that link to that article, which shows you in the uh, content ideas report, right? There's a little drop down that shows backlinks. So you go hit up all those sites and ask them to link to your infographic, because if they already linked to the original article, why wouldn't they link to the infographic as well? Another strategy that I love using is applying for business awards. It doesn't give you as many visitors as you would like, but it gives you that credibility, which helps improve your conversion rates, and it does improve word of mouth marketing as well. And then I recommend partnerships with other brands. Look, if you're selling, let's say, toasters, and someone else is selling microwave, people who want to buy toasters may be interested in buying microwave. Maybe you can sell their products, they can sell your products, you can do affiliate deals, Maybe you can do collaborations where you do like a Cyber Monday or Black Friday promotions together. It's all great ways to increase your sales. Now, if you need help with your marketing or more ideas, check out my ad agency, NP Digital, where we help companies succeed online. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm here to help. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, tell the people about it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time.